So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, China's insane obsession with being white. There's a term from uh, ancient China that's been passed down for uh, many generations. It's called the uh, Bai Zhe Bai Chou. And they, if you were to translate this phrase uh, literally, it would uh, be translated to uh, whiteness can cover a hundred ugly imperfections. Yes, that's an ancient Chinese proverb. To me, that's very disturbing, but uh, that's just the truth. And I'm not talking about just China. I would say it's the same thing throughout Asia. It doesn't matter where you ever you go. You go to uh, Korea, you go to Japan, go to Singapore, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Indonesia. White is the only accepted standard of beauty. Uh, if you don't believe me, uh, if you think about you ever watch a uh, Chinese drama or a Korean drama or a uh, Bollywood, you ever see any uh, dark skinned actor or actress? Well, the answer is no. The only exception that, you know, a dark skinned Chinese person or Indian person can make it onto TV. It's for comedy relief purposes, or if they're playing a gangster or rapist, murder or criminal. That's the only role you're ever going to get. That's the reality. And uh, also for this reason, they are uh, extremely racist towards black people. Uh, and the reason is obvious because you know they're so obsessed uh, with being white all the time. So being black is never ever going to be okay. Uh, I do want to mention this, uh, many of you probably have seen this before, the double eyelid surgery. Now, as far as I can see, there might be some very small percentage of a population though that's scattered, maybe some indigenous population that's scattered somewhere around the world that has this born with a single eyelid. But it's almost exclusive to just the uh, native Asian population. And uh, so we have single eyelid in China that is viewed as, you know, someone that's a low class peasant. You're poor and ugly. I, I'm serious, that's what having a single eyelid means. Now, some Asians are born uh, naturally with double eyelid, and um, there's no way to tell the exact percentage because there are so many uh, double eyelid surgeries being done in China all the time, so it's hard to say. So, this procedure is mandatory for anybody in China that wants to be, you know, a TV personality, go into the mainstream media, become a social media influencer, or become a model. You cannot have single eyelid. That's just the truth. So, you know, if you want to be famous in China, you have to have it done. And the most Chinese men as well will have to go through this surgery. And the end goal of the double eyelid surgery is to appear more European. You have to appear more white as much as possible. Why are Chinese people and all these Asians, why are they so obsessed with whiteness? It's hard to give an exact reason. You know, uh, there could be a variety of factors. This is just my opinion. Okay, it's not based on any studies. This is what I think. First of all, I don't agree with this. I think this is insanity. This is madness. But the number one reason I would give is that uh, Europeans, they took over the world at one point. Now, things have changed. I'm talking about in the past, story. Right? The British, they invaded almost every single country on Earth. And they had territories in every single time zone. That's how they earned the title that uh, the empire where the sun never sets, right? And nearly all Asian countries, they were either uh, completely colonized by uh, European powerhouses or they had parts of the country taken over. Like China was ripped apart by the British, the French, the Portuguese and uh, ultimately by Japan during World War II. So in other words, that uh, being white means you know, wealth, power, control. And uh, so if you have a darker skin tone, that means uh, you know, history of uh, oppression, poverty, slavery. The list goes on and on and on. So, you know, if you're dark skinned, you're on the wrong side of history. And uh, everybody wants to join the European powerhouse. In other words, uh, if you decide to travel to China to you know, work, study, or maybe even settle there permanently. Now, in China, uh, I want to make this clear. There are people who emigrate to China. Obviously, at a much smaller number versus people who are leaving China. But uh, if you uh, live in China long enough and uh, if you pass the requirements, yes, you can apply for permanent residence. Now, if you're white, you will be treated 10 times better versus a black or Indian person traveling to live in China to work or study there. That's just how life goes. That's the truth. And uh, life is not fair. And uh, it never, ever will be. So instead of uh, complaining about every single little detail, I think uh, we need to learn to appreciate that uh, what we do have in life. And in my past videos, I've been talking about the horrific atrocities that uh, you know, these uh, past kings and emperors and rulers have, uh, op have uh, posed on to its uh, own population. Like what happened with the eunuchs in China going through the castration. What happened with the woman with the foot binding. 
I think uh, we have come a long way. However, in the last uh, 10, 20, 30 years, I think we have been uh, progressing backwards. And uh, yes, I do have a lot of doubts about uh, our future as a civilized society. But uh, that's for a different video. The only person that can change your future for the better is you. Nobody can do that for you. Always remember that. So in next week's uh, videos, I will talk about uh, China's very dark obsession with abortion. And also uh, China's final gay emperor. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye bye.